Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Hello everybody. The AI tool I'm going to discuss about today is called ThisPersonDoesNotExist.com. Before I dive into the details, I want to mention that I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers. So if you are watching this video and you are enjoying this content, make sure to hit subscribe and hope you can help me reach that goal. All right, let's get to the website. So how this works is every time you refresh this page, you'll see a new face pop up. While these spaces do look pretty realistic as if they are real people, you guessed it right, these are actually not real. They are all AI generated and this, uh, this software has been around since 2019 actually. It was developed by NVIDIA. Now how can this website be useful? One potential use case I can see is if you have a set of content websites or if you buy content from a content, uh, from a content provider and you have affiliate websites you build using it, this, this uh, website can be useful in creating author profiles for your content. It uses something called Generative Adversarial Network and there's a paper out there by Cornell if you want to learn more about how they're trying to improve the quality of this algorithm. The actual code about this algorithm is also published in this link by NVIDIA where it explains how it's using TensorFlow to generate the new faces. If you want to do a deep dive, there's a lot of information out there. I'm going to link it to the, to the bottom of the video. One potential pitfall this website can help avoid is something which happened to this crypto company. So this, this uh, crypto company was trying to raise funds and they were using in, in faces of the internet and someone mistakenly used Ryan Gosling's picture on their team page, which clearly is like they didn't, they clearly didn't know who Ryan Gosling was. Maybe they're from a different country and they don't have access to American movies or something like that. So if you can use a face from this website, you might not face that issue. I'm going to actually give it a shot and see if I reverse image search this person, if it detects any, someone else. Let me try another one. So if you go to Google Images, there's a feature called reverse image search where you can search an image, upload a file and see if it detects that. I have an example of this football player, you might have heard of him, called Mbappe, and I'm going to use his image, I'm going to use his picture and see if it detects him. So I'm searching for Mbappe right now using Google's reverse image search and see how it works. All right, so it clearly detected who this person was, a French football player called Mbappe. So let me try another one. All right, this time I'm going to use a, a face generated using that website and see if it finds me any person. All right, I see, as you see, there's nobody detected with that face. I'm going to try another one. All right, so as you see, the images generated by this website can be pretty useful and you can use this on your, on your content websites. If you can think of some other use cases, make sure to add these to the comments. Why I wanted to present this AI tool is the interface is really easy to use. So there is not much learning to be done for, for you to use this. So you just go on the website and keep hitting refresh. So the learning curve is pretty low. While this does look simple, there's quite a few things going on in the background. So if you are overwhelmed with AI in general and are confused about all the buzzwords that's going around in the market, this is a good place to start where you can just go on a website and see the power of AI in live action. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a like and subscribe to my channel. Till the next one, thank you.